Hey, I'm back for another Truth Matters, uh, and we are moving along here. We are in um, from this uh, book called My Christian Faith. We are in Lesson 24, and we're looking at baptism, right? What is it all about? Uh, it's something that, um, that for a lot of churches has caused a lot of maybe arguments, a lot of disagreements. Um, there's been various takes on what baptism is. Uh, now, we would say baptism is what God does for us. He is welcoming us into his family. He is adopting us. And I, and I feel that adoption is probably the strongest uh, image that we could have. Uh, it's God choosing, saying, hey, just like someone adopting a child would say, hey, I want that child. Uh, out of all the other kids I could choose, I want to choose that one. They're mine. Uh, and so when you adopt like that there's a legal document right there's a there's a uh, an actual like kind of a birth certificate or an adoption form that says legally i and my wife have adopted this person right i have a lot of friends that have adopted kids uh, and it's awesome and and that that child just it, it's it's cool but if that child were ever to wonder whether they were actually adopted and and if that mom and dad had made that choice all they have to do is look at that certificate, right? When they're not feeling like it, when it doesn't seem like it, they can go and they can see the, the evidence of that. And baptism is kind of like that for us. Like when we doubt, we're not feeling like maybe God loves us and, and maybe we're worried about that. Are we good enough? And, we, and we're struggling with all that stuff. God comes, comes in very, very clearly saying to us, no, 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 no. In baptism, I claimed you to be my own. I connected you to the, uh, the, the, the dying and the rising of Jesus, that became part of your life. That, in fact, that became the foundation of your life, the everything for your life. Now, uh, what, what, what's pretty awesome is where does baptism come from? Uh, and, and so we look at Luther and he says, well, it's not just plain water. It's water included in God's command and combined with God's word, right? And we call that a sacrament. Uh, and, and so the Lord's Supper and baptism are both what we would call sacraments. So it's a, it's a way that God brings his truth to us in a very visible way, in a tangible way. Uh, and so there's bread in the Lord's Supper. There's water in baptism that we can see, right? We, you know, you, you pour it on you, you're going to get wet. Uh, and so it's, it's something you experience outwardly, but what's really important is what God's doing inwardly. He's connecting you to himself. He's saying, you know what? You're mine now. This is the formal adoption process, the formal ritual for it. And now you are mine. You're, you're no longer lost. You're, you're no longer condemned. You're there. Uh, if you go to Matthew 28, 19, you get the command. He says, make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them everything that I have commanded you. And he says, I will be with you always to the very end of the age. And so there's the, it, it, it's kind of connected to us becoming followers of Jesus or disciples. He's like, that's kind of how, how, it, how it works, how it's done, is that we're baptized in the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and that phrase in the name of means that those things become a reality. God becomes Father. Jesus becomes our Savior. The Spirit is, is within us. We're, we're kind of brought to life. We're kind of connected to this incredible thing. Luther said that it, it works forgiveness of sins. It rescues us from death and the devil it gives us eternal salvation to all who believe as the words and the promise of God declares. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe is not is is condemned. So it's that Mark passage is so important that I that I quoted at the end there. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. So it's it's belief that really, when all is said and done, what matters. It, it, it's the fact that I trust in what Jesus did for me. That's why we're going through this catechism. That's why we're going through this so that we see that what He did is is something that I want. It's something that I'm saying, yes, this is for me. It's not just for my parents. It's not just for some other people, but it is for me. God has chosen me. He loves me. I want to be part of his church. I, I want this and, uh, and I want to make sure that everybody knows it 
Uh, and so I'm going to just do my, like publicly testify to what he has done. And very often, I mean, that's what, that's what baptism is. Over and over again in the scriptures, you have stories of people, they hear the word of God, they're, they're, they're changed by it, and they're like, I want to be baptized. You know, I want to be part of that. I, I want to be in. I, I don't want to just be sitting on the sidelines. And for, and for those first Christians, we, we really get uh, a clear uh, like view of the meaning of baptism. Because the Christian faith was not legal at the time. Like when you read the book of Acts, when you read all the letters of Paul, the, the, the Christian faith was not legal. You could get in trouble. You could even get killed, as a lot of folks were in those early couple of centuries um, of the faith. I mean, we were enemies of, of people because they, they just got the wrong idea about, about what we were and who we were. And so for you to stand up publicly and say, you know what, I want to be washed, I, I, want, to, I want to go into that water, and, and it's a very deliberate act, it's a very public act, you can't, you know, it's, it's just, it's out there. Um, there's no hiding that that's who you are. There's no hiding the, the fact you're, you're not going to be sort of an undercover Christian. Um, it was saying, look, do what you want, I'm in. This is who I'm going to be. Uh, and God claims him, claims her, washes that person, you know, they are now a child of God. And again, for them, that would have been a difficult thing. That, that would have started um, some, some aggression against them and some other, and it might have cost them a lot. But you know what? It didn't, it didn't matter to them. And, and I pray that it doesn't matter to us. I pray that we say, you know what, Lord, I'm going to live for you. I've been baptized into Christ. I've been baptized into his death. I've been baptized into his resurrection. That's who I am. I'm now dead to sin, as Paul says in, in Romans 6, and I'm alive to God in Christ. And so that's a, a really, really important thing. And, and what I want you to do is I want you to talk about your, um, about the day you were baptized with your parents. What was going through their mind? Right? How, how was that a special day? Who did your baptism? What, you know, what was it all about? Um, that would be a good thing to kind of talk with them or other family members about uh, because, you know, it is a meaningful thing and, and confirmation is us really, we're confirming what, what, what Jesus did. So he said yes to you in baptism. This is you saying yes to him in faith. All right. We'll talk to you next time for second half of this uh, video on baptism.